You, you see this right here where it says mostly negative? That that was recently. And that that's 2,000 of those. Mostly negative right there. I know it's small. Can't see it. But basically everyone's complaining about the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, game used to be good. Then they decided removing content from the game was more important than anything else 10 years later. This guy right there. Um, I tend to agree with that because here's the thing. All the content that was perfectly fine, much like YouTube, all right, because this is a little personal, personal story, all the content that was deemed acceptable for over a decade all of a sudden gets ripped out of it, you know, much like our YouTube channel. So this is what I don't understand. It was fine for a decade, quite literally a decade. This game built its fan base based on the content they had in their game. Now they took it out. Bro, I mean, read the room, maybe? Or at least your reviews. I mean, that, that might help, right? My God. I don't think the changes is bad. Sometimes I personally wish they could have just added a switch option so they could switch from censored to uncensored. But sadly, this doesn't help the case. Uh, they even uh, get a review bombed on their Steam store. Yeah. I mean, that, that's that's the only recourse people have now. Uh, like, if you mess with a product on Steam, their only recourse, aside from angry tweets that nobody reads, um, you know, is to review bomb, to get that message across. And I, I agree with it, yet disagree with it. You know? It's like, I feel like they're trying to bully their way to get people to hear them. But in instances like this, you got to let the devs know that they made a misstep. You know? But I didn't even know that the original creators of this game have uh, Skullgirls left quite a bit ago. So they're not even in part of the game. So I guess the IP got handed over to somebody else and they're like, all right, let's spiffy this up for a broader audience. It's just so bizarre, you know, when content gets removed or whatever. Dude, when you keep dumbing down a product to the point of just being uh, benign and relevant, irrelevant, it's just like, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to play Skullgirls now. Maybe they crunched the numbers and they realized that like everyone's going to be like, yeah, this is super cool. There's nothing in here that's going to slightly offend me in any particular way. The other weird thing about the Skullgirls thing, for all the assets that they updated in game, they also updated their like digital art compendium. So all the artwork in there basically got modified. So if you have the original one, don't update. There we go. Official Skullgirls forum. Okay, this here, right? Okay. I hate these long-winded things that get spewed out by devs to make it seem like things are better. Uh, Skullgirls had a long and colorful history shaped by a variety of contributions over the year. As we look ahead towards the future of Skullgirls, there is none. Oh, God. Here's the thing. Look, 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 Past decisions regarding certain content that has undermined the many things that make Skullgirls truly unique and special. Here's the thing. The stuff that you took out is what made Skullgirls unique. Maybe not special, but at least the unique. Okay? Just just keep that keep that in your back pocket for a second. All right? As such, brr, brr, as part of our most recent round of updates across all platforms, console and mobile, we have decided to make some changes to certain legacy content in the spirit of better reflecting our values. Better reflecting our values and our broad vision of Skullgirls moving forward. Here's, here's the thing about a broad vision. Sometimes that can also be construed as tunnel vision. Because you're looking at one thing, which is more money, as opposed to, you know, maybe honoring the people that made the game what it was, which were the people who bought it. Just saying. Okay. Better reflecting our values. You know, you have no values. Okay. You have no values. And here's the thing. I don't care about any of this. I like Skullgirls. I played it for a little bit. I think maybe I have four hours in it. I'm not pot committed, as it were. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to make it an Evo game, you know. OK, character. This seems to be the second sticking point here. Character, character, sexu sexualization and agency. Whatever the hell that means. One, let's get this straight. They're fictional characters in a fictional world. I don't know how many times this has to be drilled into somebody's head 
but these are fictional characters in a fictional world. If you're playing this game and you think this is a representation of real life and how you should behave in the real world, then you need psychological help. If you've created content like this, you should stand by it because under the same argument, it is fictional content, fictional characters. None of this really matters. It doesn't matter. Uh, while Skull Girls has no stringers, the characters that confidently express their sexuality. Yeah. Whatever. Let's just... Whatever. Uh, what's the racial sensitivity thing? Why there are numerous playful references to pulpy themes that we feel respectfully allude to certain stereotypes, e.g. the, uh, saxploitation voiceover pack. We have made adjustments to some content that we believe is in poor taste. Um, let's see. Yeah, basically, they, they bury these changes. But of, of course, people found them because somebody read all of them. I'm not doing it because I don't care. Um, whatever. Closing thoughts. You have none. Here, it, just because this, this sets a trend and it's been in a moving trend that just keeps going. Um, and I don't want to equate it to like, oh, they went woke or blah, 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 blah. I understand certain things. You're like, ah, maybe we shouldn't have that in the game. Eh, you know, I get that to a certain extent. But again, if you're doing like a, a documentary or something that's based on fact, you want to get those facts right, right? Correct. If you're talking about a person who's real in real life and you're throwing a backstory in there that they they were, you know, insensitive to certain cultures when they weren't. OK, that's slander. This is all fictional characters. Villains are villains. Villains are bad. Stop making anti-heroes. You know? No, because here's the thing. Certain people shouldn't be looked at as they're misunderstood. Okay? Because it's, that's not the case. You know? I don't look at Dahmer and say, they were just misunderstood. I don't look at John Wayne Gacy and say, well, they were more of an anti-hero. That's not the case. They're pure evil. And if you make evil characters, unintentionally even, double down on it. Evil is evil. Deal. You know, the people who make Skull Girls aren't, aren't even going to look at this. Their hands are filled with so much garbage. And they're going to do whatever is best for their pockets, you know? Yeah, again, I don't think the original... Because I, I, I blurbed through a couple of posts, like, real quick. I was like, da -da 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 -da. Now, let's see what's going on. Um, I think most of the creators, the two main creators, aren't even with the game anymore. They, like, moved on. So, the spirit of the game, long left. It's kind of like when you look at Blizzard, you know? And everyone's like, well, Blizzard isn't what it used to be. Because, you know, all the people left, <laughs> you know? And it, it is what it is, you know? Again, I, uh, Skullgirls, not pot committed. Don't care about the game. Don't care if it gets more popular. Don't care if it fails miserably. I don't care. I'm more concerned about creators sticking with their vision. But I don't think revisionists should be a vision anybody should have. You know? For all the weird, weird cartoons that we've done in the past, one, it's fictional. Get the hell over it. Two, who cares? Three, I'm not going back and changing it. <laughs> what the hell? Jay, you got to change everything. Well, well Why? Well, this character said something. You, you think South Park is going back and changing everything that Cartman said? No. Maybe moving forward, they're going to second guess a couple of things that they've said. That's fine. You know, different time, et cetera, et cetera. But whatever. Cartoon's a cartoon. Game is a game. It's fiction. God, I, I hate repeating this because it's like people should be smarter than this. But, you know, duh. <laughs> like, quite, duh. The fiction, not reality. What? <laughs> I can't. I really can't stand it. Whatever.